Africa as a whole, there is this this concept of dualism as as it applies to the self. There is the tangible aspect, there is the intangible aspect. And uh, the Yoruba see this uh, dualism, this concept as the outer and the inner head. They see uh, consciousness as the head, as a head. And um, these drawings, which are mainly done in uh, black pastel and graphite, I use a geometric shape as a basic foundation and, um, and tend to manipulate that geometric form in a way that there is a projection on one side, which tend to uh, represent the nose and a chin. The dark space in the center itself is um, where this, this intangible essence of self is, is supposed to be. And like I always say that they are about blackness with all it represents, with all that word represents, you know, blackness, but not blackness as an absence of light, but blackness as light that is imperceivable by the eyes, because there is so much about the nature of, of consciousness, the nature of being that nobody knows anything about. So, so it represents all of all that is unseeable and unknowable about the nature of being. I think it's uh, for me personally, it's it's difficult to say how long it takes to make a work of art because um, I use a sketchbook. So if you're looking at the the point of inspiration when the idea occurred and i sketched it in my sketchbook and i go about my day and you know muse on it and adjust this you know this sketch and work it this way and conceive of it either large scale or small scale and so the, you start counting time from then right and then uh, the process of of preparing the canvas because you, I have to stretch, you know, make the canvas stretch out, make those myself, prime it, and then put the paper on it, and then do the sketch on it. Yeah, so it's very difficult to, to know exactly how long, but the, physical, the, the final product itself, which I believe is what usually people mean when they ask how long it takes, um, two days, three days maximum. The, the final outcome of you know of the whole process right my interest in the in nature of being in the intangible essence of self you know is, is ongoing which is why I titled my work self-portrait not because you know of course they're not they don't look like me in any way shape or form but <laughs> so, <laughs> Is the, is the portrait of the intangible self. The thing my work investigates really is the issue of self-identity. What, what is that self? To With what does one uh, identify oneself? Regardless of race, gender, or nationality even, the only thing I can say is that we all have that common inheritance, which is that the self, the, in, the essence of self is intangible, it's invisible. <laughs> we don't even know what its nature is. Um, we don't know whether indeed it is. it has a location within the human brain. Um, so that is, it's a common, it's, it's something that is common to everybody. You, you know, with, there's no color there. There's no male, female, it's, it's just the self. And it acts itself out as uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. The only thing we know about it is that it's our personal direct experience of consciousness. That's it. That's it. <laughs>